So this is going to be both an announcement video and somewhat of a PSA submission video. Um, the announcement, as you can probably tell from the title, is that uh, Trading Cards Forever, which is me, <laughs> uh, now has a uh, Instagram. And uh, the reason for the Instagram is uh, basically to mostly uh, just kind of show off things. Um, it's a lot easier for me to take pictures of uh, cards and stuff and put them on Instagram and whatnot than it is to make an entire video uh, just for a couple cards or just to show one card. So instead of doing like a mail dev video, I'll probably be using uh, Instagram more. And uh, that way you guys can see uh, what it is I'm buying and what it is I plan on grading and whatnot so that you can uh, keep current with that and uh, if anyone is interested in stuff like that. And then for the PSA submission part, I was just going to rifle through some of these cards as eye candy. Um, you got them right here in the front, got the Dark Magician DDS, really miscut Majestic Star Dragon, uh, Ultimate Rare Japanese Dark Paladin. And so I'm just kind of going to rifle through these and not explain all of them, but um, just give some eye candy. Uh, these are stuff that I do plan to grade, obviously. Um, I've got it uh, sleeved up in the uh, Ultra Pro card sleeve. And then I uh, got the little uh, tab on the back so they can get pulled out pretty easy by the PSA graders. Um, I can't promise that all of these are going to get graded right away. Um, or when they are going to get graded. Um, kind of unsure. I plan on doing a very large submission at some point here. Uh, I just don't know when, per se. And I have to pick out exactly uh, what it is I'm going to grade. Because... I've got quite a few cards that I really actually do want to grade, but now I'm not going to send all of them into one submission. So yeah, here's just like a bunch of secret rares here. End of Nubis, some Gladiator's Assault, and then some Ultimate Rares. The Stalos, Infernal Fire Blast, Flame Wingman, Bubble Man, a couple Water Dragons, Destiny Hero Dogma. Dogma. Love that name. And some more here. The Chaos Emperor Dragon from Duelist Pat Kaiba. And then some more uh, Ultimate Rare Japanese. I really like these. Uh, upper Deck could have learned a few things from uh, Japan about how to make some cool Ultimate Rares, I could say. Uh, so I like uh, Guy of the Dragon Champion here. The Exodia Head. That's sick. Uh, Black Magi or Chaos Black Magician. Black Magician of Chaos, I can't remember the exact name for some reason. Uh, Buster Blader, Archlord Zerato, and some LOB cards. Uh, this is a first print run, uh, Gaia, and then um, Change of Heart, MRD stuff. So yeah, just to kind of like show you guys what all I've got here and what all I do plan on getting graded and at some point and uh, these are mostly just like the uh, grades that, or the cards that I plan to grade that are going to be like uh, for high grades, I guess you could say. I've got also some other cards that uh, I want to grade for uh, possibly getting uh, OC or MC qualifier grades from PSA. Although PSA has been really stingy about uh, giving out those qualifier grades as of recent. So I've been kind of just holding on to those and wondering if I'm even going to end up grading them or if I'll just keep them as uh, loose cards. Because the last thing I want to do is just, you know, pay money for PSA to grade them. Have them obviously be off-center or obviously be like a miscut card. And then just get a low grade instead of getting the qualifier grade. So yeah, I might just keep them as loose copies of uh, RAR cards that are just off-center. That you can just tell by looking at them. A bunch of promo cards here that I got. Really cool uh, Bandai uh, Black Metal or uh, Red Eyes or Back... Black Skull Dragon. Um, this is actually really cool because uh, in the artwork for this card, it's actually red and not black like it is in uh, the uh, English print. And it's even called Black Skull Dragon, or at least in the English print it was. So I don't know if they changed the name of the card or uh, if the red was on purpose or what exactly, but it's kind of interesting. And here's a really cool uh, LOB misprint card. I've seen quite a few of these. I've only seen them in Unlimited, but... Uh, it's got this kind of like offline uh, centering on it. So I'm kind of wondering, like, I think this is probably going to end up being a uh, recognized error or something, or at least by the community anyway, uh, that doesn't really have a name right now. Uh, my uh, my uh, bid for the name on this is like the mirror error. That's what I'm 
hoping that it'll end up com becoming just because it is the green reflection and it's holding a mirror and it's got this kind of like off-centered uh miscut misaligned uh printing on it so mirror error i thought would be a really cool name for this uh error card if it does end up getting recognized by the community and then this firegrass card that's uh looks fine on the front it's just an unlimited lov so it's like why are you grading this dude and then you look at the back and it's got this huge miscut on it so that'd be a cool one to get back and then i got some couple pokemon cards here too to show off there's not all my pokemon cards that i plan on getting graded but uh right here you have an incredibly uh obvious gray stamp uh first edition base set nitto king uh off center metagross mega pidgeot off center uh dark cry that's off center you can look at the back here yeah off center miscut whatever you want to call it one of the two it's pretty pretty uh, noticeable same thing with the mega pidgeot it's easier to see on the back Got that huge ass border on the top and nothing on the bottom. And then uh, this test print card that I have right here. As you can see for Pokemon, uh, they don't have square corners. They have the rounded corners. But uh, this card has the square corners. And then also on the back here, you can see that it is actually white and doesn't have the uh, Pokeball on the back. So the Charizard Authority had a shit ton of these that he auctioned off at uh, one cent auctions and... A lot of these uh, test print cards, they were just going for mad money, uh, especially the Pokemon cards. So um, most of the Pokemon cards were going for at least like 80 bucks or more, depending on what the Pokemon was. You know, I, I saw like a Jinx go for like 120 bucks or something. You know, it's a, just a test print. Uh, and then the trainer cards were going for less, but some of them were still going for, you know, at least 60 bucks or more. And then I ended up picking up this one for like 5 bucks or something. I guess no one wanted it, which was cool with me because I actually really like this one because it has all the energy symbols in it. So, uh, the PSA doesn't actually grade these. It's more of like a custom authentication, I guess, that they do. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I plan on doing that. And I just kind of wanted one for my collection because I, I found it interesting being a test print and then having this white background uh, back of the card. And a really off-centered miscut uh, Hydreigon. Uh, off-centered Gyarados. Off-centered miscut Ninetales here. You can see those both are... These are actually both really common for the uh, unlimited base set uh, Pokemon cards. Uh, the Gyarados is like you can see these all the time getting uh, miscut or off center. There's a ton of them actually. I'm not. I shouldn't say a ton of them, but there are quite a few. Um, so it's not so much as like being special because there's something where a bunch of these just got printed where they were off center, and then also the Nine Tails as well. Uh, the Nine Tails I think was underneath of the um, Gyarados or something on the sheets. And so while the Gyarados is off-center, the Ninetales is also off-center. Because uh, there's quite a few Ninetales as well that are uh, base set unlimited that are off-center miscut. So yeah, just a quick little uh, announcement and submission video. Um, my Instagram, it's going to be the exact same name as my eBay. And then the exact same name as my YouTube, except with underscores instead of spaces within the name. And then, of course, I'll have a, a link in the description of this video for both my eBay and my Instagram for any of you who are interested in seeing cards that I'm selling and cards that I have in my collection and whatnot. So, as always, thank you for watching.